Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, I wanted to do a cool little video about um, the solar eclipse that's coming up on April 8th. So Universe Sandbox released a update um, where they kind of like recreate everything about it. Uh, so we have the moon here. Um, anyways, yeah, let's just let's let's check it out. Let's check it out. OK, so. So, yeah, so we have the moon. We have the sun. It is April. You can't see because my my uh, video things in the way, but uh, it's basically 12 p.m. on April Eighth in this in this current simulation right here. So uh, this should be cool. If you read the little side box there, total solar eclipses where moon passes between the sun and Earth, fully blocking the sun, occur once every eighteen months, um, and can only be viewed from a narrow path across Earth. Uh, on April eighth, twenty twenty four, solar eclipse will pass over North America, which we know starting in Mexico, moving across the United States, uh, from Texas to Maine, and finally to Newfoundland, Canada. Well, I'm in Canada, so we'll see. I think it passes me, but not. I have to. I have to drive a little bit to get like the full on thing. Um, the last total solar eclipse in North America was August 2017, and there will not be another until uh, 2044 in the United States. So maybe Canada gets another one. I don't know. But anyways, I mean, uh, let's just check this out. I think this is a cool thing. Let's see, let's see the shadow that it gets casted. So I think we're we're doing the simulation. It's paused right now, but I'm gonna un unpause it at like about ten minutes a second, I think. Um, so let's see what we get. I mean, you can you can already kind of see. Right there's the moon, right right up there, right. We're get, we're getting there, anyways. Um, uh, okay, so let's just check it out. Let's check out what it does to the Earth here. Here we go. I press play see the shadow come in oh there it is right there we got it right here um i wonder if we can do like a oh wait let's let's watch it first time and then we'll do like a earth view i think is it control c no just c it just c but this kind of messes it up a bit also sun right there oh my lord um yeah let's just check it out normally okay here we go it's coming through. Starts in Mexico. There it goes. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. I mean, it's so huge that like I feel like I, you know, a large part of us are gonna see that. Um, wow. Okay, there you go. And done. Just like that. So the time is now 4 p.m. on my game. So I guess it's going to last like four. It's going to start and last four hours, like starting in Mexico. And then by the time it's done, it's like four hours later. Um. Well, that's going to be fun. Are you guys going to check this out? I'm going to check this out. Hopefully, I'm going to do a video. The thing is, I mean, you guys tell me what, what do you think about videos. But um, like literally everyone's going to be doing a video on this solar eclipse because it's in such a populated like area of North America. So I'm like, do I do a video? I don't know. Well, what's my video going to be? Is there any cool ideas? Like, I don't know. I got to think about, I got to think about something for that video, but uh, obviously I'm going to experience the eclipse because it's going to be crazy. Um, I'm going to buy, get some glasses. Actually, that's another thing that's been bothering me. So I opened up a PO box and like, Things are getting shipped to it, but then you check the tracking and it's all over the place and it's like, it's getting, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Post office says it's, it's, everything's totally fine with it. But like, anyways, it's, it's just annoying things. Uh, cause I was supposed to be getting glasses and that's like, I'm not getting glasses. You know, those cheap little ones that you kind of like put on and then it locks the sun out. Anyways, you, you still going to get a pair of that. But I digress. Uh, that was kind of cool. It was also kind of like, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for that video, but uh let's watch it again. You know what? Now let's do the uh the earth view. It was kind of whatever. It's kind of whatever to see where it goes. I mean, I like that they did it, but uh whatever. Okay, let's let's watch it this way. At least this way would be cooler. Okay. Earth's moving. Are we where we need to be? That's the question. Uh we might not be. So it's 2 p.m. now. Oh yeah. There it goes. Look. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we didn't get the total. Oh, wait. Almost we got the total eclipse. We didn't quite get the total eclipse. Must have not put my camera. Where did I put it? Are we? Oh, we're there. So, yeah, you kind of got to be like more over here and then up in Newfoundland. They're going to get a good, a good view. That would be a great spot. 
travel out there. Um, anyways, I mean, I'm just rambling at this point, but, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, imagine you're an ancient civilization. People, you probably already thought about this. People have said this all the time, but ancient civilizations that see something like this. I mean, what would that have even been like back then? You know what I mean? Like, just crazy to me. Like, no, you know what I mean? Just no, no wonder they thought they're, they're going to die or like the apocalypse is here because they just literally, um, you know, would have these, these eclipses, which would be terrifying. Like if you've, if you guys have never experienced, I feel like in grade school in the nineties, I had a, uh, not to date myself, but there was a solar eclipse in grade school in the nineties. And um, I feel like I remember it. This is this a fake memory? I don't know. Sometimes you get those. You know what I mean? Um, but I'm looking forward to this one. I'm. I was just trying to say, like, it's such an uncanny feeling of like all of a sudden you're in the daylight, and then it's just like all of a sudden it's like night now, and everything looks night, and then it's daylight again. Like, could you imagine what that would have been like without knowing about solar eclipses and whatever? And even then, you know, when when these ancient, you know, whatever priests, whatever you want to call them figured out uh the moon's rotation and the sun and all that stuff they must have known when these were coming and then if like if you could predict this happening to to like a day or whatever would you not become the greatest all-time king of everything i mean seriously is that not how like kings were made back then imagine you had the scientific knowledge to like predict when a lunar eclipse was coming and you tell all the people guys the lunar eclipse is coming like on this date april 4th whatever april 8th and then it happens, and everyone would just be like, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? It, uh, it would be crazy. So eclipses are very cool for that reason. I would love to know more about the, uh, the eclipses. One cool fact that I did hear before is that um, how, how far the Earth is from the moon and how far the moon is from the sun, I think they call it an occultation. Oh, occult? Maybe that's where you get occult from. But is is exactly perfect um, to be able to do this, to be able to like fully, I mean, you can't see it right now, but to be able to fully cover the sun, the moon had to be uh, whatever. It's like, it's like, it's in the perfect position right now, but you know, millions of years in the past and millions of years in the future, it's not going to be as perfect because it's moving farther away from the earth. So it's going to be getting like smaller. So it's not going to like cover the full sun. Um, in, in the perfect way that it does right now, you know, you know, where you get like that Corona thing around the sun. Um, yeah. Uh, so, so there you go. What are you guys doing on April? Uh, is it eighth? What are you guys doing on April 8th? I will be, I will be staring directly at the sun. How about you? Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, this was this video. What do you think about, uh, what do you think about less edited videos like this? I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like a stream. It's kind of like I'm streaming right now, but to no one. I also want to keep doing streaming. So anyways, stay tuned for that. Thank you to all my supporters. Uh, God bless your hearts. How you're still supporting me. Uh, we'll never know, but God bless, God bless you. Uh, and if you guys want to be a part of that, you could join the YouTube memberships or uh, Twitch. Maybe don't join Twitch. I'm, I'm not streaming as much on there, but YouTube memberships for sure. Or my Patreon. Um, is Patreon garbage also? I don't know. I've heard things. I've heard that you can do better ones than Patreon. Um, anyways, and or just literally watch the video or, and like it. Uh, feed YouTube. Feed the algorithm everything that we need to give it. Uh, do you think they ban that word, algorithm? The more you say it, the more YouTube probably bans you. Anyways, that's it, guys. I got nothing else. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like this kind of st st style where I'm not really editing, I'm just, we're just kind of chilling together. Uh, let me know. Uh, there could be more of these. And anyways, we'll catch you. Uh, we'll catch you next week. We'll catch you. Yeah, what's going on next week? I don't know, but I think we'll be playing a game next week. I think I I've already said I've already ended this video like seven times now. So if you're still with me, <laughs> thank you very much. You're a true super fan. If you're still with me, let me know if you're still with me in the comments uh, after seven false endings to this video. But um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, I got these other space games. I think I just want to like maybe venture out into some space games, maybe some narrative space games. You know what I mean? Uh, there's some cool atmospheric ones. Um, uh, Kerbal 2. I, I re-bought Kerbal 2, so I'm ready to play that again. Apparently after the science update, it's much better. I have Juno New Origins, but I don't know. The, the, something, 
It's a good game, but something to me is off about it. I don't know what that is. Um, and anyways, yeah, I don't know. Let me, I don't know. Just, just live your lives, guys. Live your lives out there. Just get out there and live every day <laughs> to its fullest. Uh, we will see you guys later for the next video. Au revoir.